150,000 uh, population in Sedgemoor. It, it's a predominantly rural area. Now we're talking about putting a massive nuclear power station right on the doorstep. It's about four times the existing size of the two nuclear power stations that are here now, Hinkley A and Hinkley B. During the course of its construction, there'll be somewhere around 30,000 people working on site. It's going to be a major impact over a generation. This is, you know, canary wharf type stuff. At the scale of this development is, is massive, and I think it's bigger than the Olympics. That's the scale uh, of this project. It was a fairly determined, bloody-minded British bulldog approach that we can do this. We're very small, we're insignificant, but we can do this. And what they did was to rally people behind a cause. We've spoken to over 30 MPs and we've given evidence before two select committees. We've invited the Energy and Climate Change Select Committee to come down, which they did. We showed them the site. We've been getting the word around Westminster that this was a substantial thing for, for the country and it needed to be rewarded. I think it's very important that we do get cross-party support on community benefit for the new nuclear phase. Caroline Flint has also been crucially important in the questions that she has actually put uh, during the debates that have taken place at this time. The way in which Sedgemoor have gone about this has been, I think, a textbook case of how to persuade government of what to do. But they've gone about it in a very painstaking way. They've done it based on evidence. They've talked about the contribution which they will be having to make as a community over many, many years. Working with a local authority, which was so professional in the whole way it went about things, made it much easier for government to get agreement on. The population of Sedgemoor is mixed with probably a, a heavier weighting towards those in, in retirement. It, it is a retirement destination because of its rural nature and, and its idyllic qualities. This is where the community says, look, as part of our benefit to the wider community, then these are the projects which matter most to us. This is localism. This is really localism in practice. And that's why it's such an important change in policy. And I'm delighted the government has agreed to do it. I think the thing is to ask people where they want the roads improved, to cope with the extra traffic, or they want a new village hall in a certain area, or new amenities. But I'm sure that with £120 million, it'd be a great boom to the whole area. Children's facilities, I think. Everything seems to be out of town or on the outskirts. There's nothing in around town for the children. Sports and social club down the, the road there um, desperately needs a new roof. There's village halls that perhaps need updating or built. The majority of people that live around here would like some form of benefit, perhaps in lower fuel bills. Yes, I, you know, I, th I think the community needs to feel that they're getting some sort of compensation. The last battle on English soil was the Battle of Sedgemoor, 1685, when people rallied behind the cause. And they weren't successful. By God, we were. Thank you.